He's here, isn't he? I don't know. Well, monsters sure are. No doubt. Monsters we can handle. We've dealt with worse. That's easy for you to say. You fought the worst for a living. Not us, though. Yeah, good boy. You mind taking the lead, Merc? For 2,000. <laughs> Enough for her standard course. Twice, right? Her what now? Ask him. Cloud? Uh, uh... Forget it. You guys need to focus. Wasn't all that long ago that this place was a working Mithril mine. Y'all know about Mithril, right? Hmm. Not anything specific, no. It's pretty tough. And beautiful, besides. Right on both counts. But what you might not realize is just how rare it is. Never been found outside of these caves, in fact. And I ought to know. Worked in a mine myself back in the day. Hard not to learn about the life when you live in it. Should we pick up a few souvenirs then? Hmm, we could, but probably not worth it. Shinra's been churning out stuff made with more durable alloys for years now. Even got that signature missile sheen. Probably refined with materia too. Look at you, Mr. Shinra expert.
seems we've caught up. Come on. Accompany him. I'm no stranger to caves. <laughs> okay, if you're sure. Sorry to. I mean, thank you. <clears throat> hmm. You keep track of the other robes now, you hear? Of course. Do it. I got it.
keep it together. Let me do <laughs> Watch yourself. I'm coming. Let's go. Good night. to get out of here. Let's see.
time. Yeah. 
robes. Did we lose them? Still got time to catch up. If any of Holding up okay? He's been through worse. He's been instructed to take some time to himself. To relax. Recuperate. <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong, but that sounds a lot like a nice, long, all-expenses-paid vacation. Well, more or less. Lucky. Hardly. He's bored out of his mind. Hmm. <laughs> Probably misses it. <sighs> What's wrong? It's nothing. Just keep talking. Uh... Wait. Seriously? What are we even doing here? Sorry, but I gotta say it. This mission, it makes no sense. Why are we wasting our time following these hooded weirdos around? Orders are orders. The whys and wherefores are not our concern. Yeesh, maybe you need a vacation. So about him, Mr. Workaholic. Thoughts? I say we put him down. I mean, that's what Sung would do if he was here. <sighs> Assholes. Who's there? <gasps> Sharp ears. <gasps> Damn it. <gasps> no freaking way. Avalanche. Feast your eyes on the Turks' latest and greatest, Elena. But you three can call me your worst nightmare. Where's Reno? On vacation. And unfortunately for you, I'm here to fill in. She may be new, but she's still a Turk. And a consummate professional. <laughs> <laughs>
I got it. Take the lead. Things have changed. While you're still wanted fugitives, if you stay out of our way, we'll stay out of yours. Oh yeah? Bullshit! Take care of Aerith for me. Hojo's lab was filled with men like this. Mako poisoned. Every last one of them. Poor bastards. What do you think their deal is? Where are they going? They're following Sephiroth. Or so Cloud seems to think. He did say that. Let's hope the boy can keep it together.
out of here. That might be an option.
<gasps> hey, guys! Over here! <laughs> Y'all taking a breather? Or what? The bridge is out! Do you think you can give us a hand?
in business. Thanks. Appreciate it. Too grand. And don't you forget. I don't think we can open it from here. See a button or a lever? One sec. Thanks, we owe you. Yep, two grand. That's fair.
Staircase. Thank you kindly. took you. Stumbled on the killer rock formation and couldn't tear ourselves away, right? The ground here could give way at any moment. We shouldn't linger. True, but don't forget, Shinra knows we're here now. Might be more of them outside. That doesn't make any difference to me. I ain't stopping. Not for them or anyone. Not after Midgar. Not after what we saw. We all know what's at stake here. The fate of the world. So if they get in our way, that's on them. Right. Let's get back to tailing the guys in robes. They're our best chance of finding Sephiroth.
Hey, check it out. Just them? Guess so. To. Is that... Junar. Shinra territory. Come on. about a great condor said to roost on an island's abandoned reactor, though there's no longer any way to reach the isle. Or at least, none that I'm aware of. They just finally reclaimed the ship was stolen. Well, even if we could get there, I'd rather not bother. It didn't seem very friendly. Agreed. Let's focus on where we can. Junon region to seek out mates. They build their nests far from civilization and 
raise their young in pairs, in terms of duty, often falls to the males to search for food. Unfortunately, when the food is scarce, they may occasionally venture into the growing trees, where it's even known to be happy to move as generous activities in the ecosystem. Such attacks will only grow more frequent. On that note, Take long.
not my best.
good bird.
Although Efreet is often associated with fire, Phoenix's flames are no less potent. In fact, the conflagrations of this undying bird are said to imbue those it touches with renewed life. Perhaps it will offer you its grace.
safe and sound. According to the energy readings, the proto relic should be nearby. Hey, is this something? basic tactics with it. Game's pretty fun, actually. Wedge was into it, and he and I'd play sometimes. Detecting rapid increase in... Wait, Tifa, don't! <laughs> Reinforcements are here! We're saved! <sighs> to strike our position. Help us! You're our only hope. We are? Now what did I just say? There's no time! The enemy's already upon us. We'll explain on the way. Just come!
ours! And we owe it all to your gracious aid. We thank you. Captain! Fellow troopers! It would seem that our next battle is fast approaching! The enemy could launch another attack at any moment. Please, you must stay and help us fight! Not again. Hold up! The Proto Relic! Hmm? What is that I spy? What is that I spy? My memory is failing me, but intuition tells me that is the treasure I seek. Hold! Unhand that, you rogues! Captain! The hell was that? Uh, call me crazy, but we were inside the game, weren't we? That's impossible. It is impossible, right? Incredible. Simply incredible. No phenomenon like this has ever been observed before. It was as if the very fabric of time and space was twisted. But how? Why? Chadley, focus. So what now, little man? Proto Relic's gone. One of those pumps in there swiped it. Right. Of course. The Proto Relic. It's faint, but I'm still tracking its signal. Which means a portal like the one you used to enter Fort Condor has opened elsewhere. We cannot ignore this amazing development. Isn't Fort Condor kind of a big deal in Midgar? Yeah, it was really popular in Sector 7. Maybe I should have gotten into it earlier. Think I could still learn the basics? I don't see why not. I bet both you and Red could pick it up quickly. What do you say to that? I accept any and all challengers. Oh, someone sounds confident. No backing out, okay? Listen to y'all. As if we've got nothing better to do.
Fiends roam this place. Yeah. Gotcha. 
I think we can safely say that's the entry point. Then what are we waiting for? Let's get in there and crack some more Shinra skulls. Um, before we do this, are we sure we can get back? Based on the analysis of your previous trip, I am confident you'll return following the conclusion of the match. Failing that, you may be assured that I will retrieve you myself. get used to this it's not so bad oh I'm going in George how could this be captain troopers you're just in time come friends let us join forces to lay waste to those fiends and reclaim my treasure what do you mean, your treasure? It came from our world. It belongs to us. Oh, cease your whinging, man. We've no time for it. Right now, we can but charge! Your mission is to help us break through the enemy lines and retrieve the artifact they stole. With the captain's aggressive approach, I fear we'll surely fail. Please, we can't succeed without you. Oh! <laughs> Captain! We're coming! That's our cue.
again? Indeed. Yet we shan't rest till my prize is mine once more. Now, charge! Oh, no, you don't! Oh. <laughs> you fool! Oh. What is the meaning of this? Captain! Wait! Don't leave it at us! his treasure or something. Do you know anything about that? Sadly, no. While I could offer theories, I require more data to speak with confidence. I can, however, inform you of the relic's location. Let's head there next. Ha! <laughs> 
Seriously.
Won't take long. Koopo? bringing all the Mooglets back. It's such a relief the Emporium that Mog and Mag built together won't have to close down. You're a lifesaver, Koopo. Thanks for coming to 
to our Moogu Emporium. Yes! <laughs> 
data has revealed the location of the mind flare lurking in the Junon region. It's said this eldritch horror devours the brains of its victims. We cannot turn a blind eye to this threat.
Lord Condor portal confirmed. Now then, let us risk life and limb to discover the truth of this phenomenon. Yeah. Wait, no. What happened to the Proto Relic? Ain't that what we came for? Oh, yes, of course. <laughs> I seem to have gotten caught up in the excitement. I swear. Come on. Let's get this over with before the boy Wonder tries to talk us into worse. Now then, if I were a proto-relic, where would I be? Over here! Your princess and your treasure await you! Make haste, my hero! Mwah! 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 Uh, does he really think we don't realize it's him? If he does, then he's farther gone than I thought. Friends, help us! The captain is in grave danger. And without him, we're doomed. All of us! What do you mean? We're nothing more than pieces in this game. Normally, we'd be stuck here, waiting on the board until someone came along to play with us. But all of that changed when the captain showed up. Ever since that day, we've been able to move around under our own power. I've never felt so alive. And it's all thanks to the captain. Without him, we're as good as dead. So how should we handle this? I don't think we can get the Proto Relic back without the Captain. Yeah, we gotta help him.
Oh, my darling hero. Hey, hands off, Buttercup. You want to thank us so bad? Give us the proto relic. This treasure is mine, and mine alone. Never would I allow you knaves to claim it. Uh, Captain? Come, my loyal huntsmen. With this, none can hope to stand against us. We shall build ourselves a sprawling empire. <laughs> hey, Captain, well, wait for us, Captain. Where are you going? Polygonal piece of shit. Talk about a dick move. You hear what the cavalry said? This whole thing started when the captain showed up. Yeah, when they gained free will. They were pretty happy about that, weren't they? Indeed they were. I still remember the weight of the chains that bound me to Hojo's service. And the joy I felt when someone finally came along and set me free. It's no surprise he's become a symbol of hope. Even so, we can't just abandon those guys. Never mind the proto relic. Right. Speaking of which, I've reacquired its signal. Send us the coordinates.
fiends out of hands. Rare fleet wing variant identified. Commencing guidance protocol. Fleet wings are also known as stalkers of the skies. When Rare fleet wing variant identified. Commencing guidance protocol. Fleet wings are also known as stalkers of the skies. When hunting, too bad.
fascinating legends about Phoenix have been passed down. One tells of the great bird scouring the coast in search of a final resting place. A fisherman bade it share the warmth of his fire. Phoenix dipped its feathers in the proffered flames, thereby rekindling its fading life force. Ready, let's 
mind flare. I was concerned the fiend might feast upon your brains, but I'm glad to see my fears were unfounded. Only a true hero could ever have defeated such a malevolent evil. Your valiant efforts today have brought the world one step closer to peace. Thank you, hero.
also tells of the gifts Phoenix bestowed on the kind angler. As thanks for his fire, the great bird brought forth myriad fish into the world. So when next you partake of the region's seafood, remember to praise Phoenix.
Preparations complete and... Standing by. You may proceed when ready, Cloud. We head back in there. It'll mean going up against the captain one more time. Fine by me. Let's rip him a new one. Is this the captain's empire? Many moons have passed. Far too many to recall since my search began. Yet my treasure still eludes. Not I've gleaned, but loneliness. What are you doing? Stay back! We won't let anyone harm the captain. Rest assured, we won't hold back. Fine. If it's a fight you want, you got it.
But hey, at least we can say we went out with a bang. We sure did. It was fun while it lasted. Thanks for playing with us, friends. May we meet again on the field of battle. Someday. Well, if we can find the time. An untethered soul. Adrift in the void of time. This bridge is make fast. Captain? The singular item that you now hold is possessed of a power beyond your can! You will deliver it unto me! No. Ha! Ah. Very well. And I shall take it from you by force! <laughs> I saw it plain, and never does my judgment err. So it comes to this! worse situations than that before. Very well. Regardless, I will do what I can to improve security measures.
another chocobo ranch. I wonder where the owner's hiding. Howdy! Care to give our wares a once-over? You've completed our survey of the Junon region, I see. I've learned so much about the Republic of Junon, thanks in no small part to your efforts in these storied lands. Such insight into our past will invariably help us understand the course Shinra may take in the future. I cannot thank you enough for partnering with me.
Duty calls.
Take the lead. All set.
on you. Ready when you are. Don't overdo it. Okay, let's go. 
like that.
to celebrate. That was a masterful victory over Phoenix. The flames it conjured were so captivating, I could hardly look away. With an immortal ally like that at your side, you've nothing to fear, not even death. Needless to say, many hazards await you on the road, so take care. from the grasslands, did you? Yeah, we did. You know, Bill? He helped us cross the swamp and everything. Do what? God damn it. I told that idiot to take his signs down. Swamplands are dangerous even on Choco back. I'm Gabe, by the way. Owner of the ranch here. And before you ask, my birds are not for rent. Ain't worth the risk. <sighs> Used to run deliveries, but Shinra put the kibosh on all that. Still trying to keep it going best I can. Well, was trying till my carriage shit the bed. And since I don't have the parts to fix her, 
Both she and my business are as good as dead. Even the chocobos are feeling down about it all. You know, I bet we could help you fix it. Kind of you to offer, but nah. It's just a matter of getting the right parts, isn't it? Says the girl who ain't gotta fix it. But even if you were some kind of secret grease monkey, I wouldn't be able to pay you for your time. I'm flat broke. Curious about my birds? I've tried setting them free, but they just keep coming back. Force of habit. <sighs> well, nothing for it now. Serves me right thinking I could run a business. Should have known it'd all fall apart. Hey, come on now. Don't be so hard on yourself. Please, Cloud. He needs help. If not for him, then at least for the chocobos? Sweet! I wasn't really asking, but I gotta warn you, the parts I need are hard to come by. At least around here they sure are. So where can we get them? From this craftsman at the top of the mountain. He'll have them. Can't go on foot though. Only a certain chocobo can make that climb. Bird by the name of Belle. Last I saw, she was over yonder. She certainly was, but now she's with us. That's so. All right, let's roll. Sorry for roping you into this, even though he can't pay. Not can't, won't. Hate to break it to you, but I'm pretty sure that guy's better off than he looks. Wait, seriously? Are you saying I got duped? That he's just using me? <laughs> Afraid so. Aw. That jerk. Whatever. I'm not doing it for him anyway. I'm doing it for the chocobos. Trying to fix Gabe's cart. Oh, so you're looking for parts. Well, you'll have to come back tomorrow, or the day after. I'm too tired to help you right now. Hmm. Think a swift kick could get him up? Wake up! <sighs> well, you're not serious, are you? Scared me half to death. Mm. You want to get my ass up? Then you bring me exactly what's on that list, got it? Well? I say we get his ass up.
Let's finish this. Oh, one, one, one. Special delivery! Mm -hmm. Oh-ho! Now that's what I'm talking about. Anyway, name's Freddy. So what was it you needed again? You did mention that. This'll just take a sec. Tell me she ain't a beauty. Nobody makes them like I do. And that's no lie. Go on, take it. You ought to make more than that. Gabe's definitely gonna need him at some point. I don't know about that. Besides, I've got things to do. 
like catching some Z's for one. So if we're all done here... Guess what? Brought you a present from your good friend, Freddy. Is that so? Only if you promise to fix your carriage and take better care of your chocobos. Well, twist my arm, why don't you? All right, little lady. It's a deal. Good. In that case, no time like the present. Whew. Good as new. Oh, I gotta say, that old dog really outdid himself this time. Hell of a job. Don't think my carrot has ever looked even half this good. <laughs> Appreciate it, kids. I can finally get the business back up and running again. That's great. But before we head out, I just want to ask one more thing. If we hadn't shown up, would you have even tried to give your birds a better life? Maybe. I see. But I get it. Shinra's a big company, and what they say goes. I can't blame you for being too scared to fight back. Hey, I ain't scared of those sons of bitches. Not one bit. Oh? Then why'd you shut down the business? It's like I told you, my carriage broke. And getting the parts to fix it sounded like a real hassle, so... So there you have it. I just... Let it go. How responsible. Okay, fine. I shouldn't have been so quick to throw in the towel. You happy? Starting today, I'm giving this job my all. I'll stock up on parts so I can keep the carriage moving and make sure my birds never get bored again. <laughs> you hear that? <laughs> then the deal is sealed. You're quite the businesswoman yourself, ain't she? flew right on over here when I heard Gabe was back in business. If you're in the market for a ride, Gabe's Chocobos will get you where you need to go lickety-split. Another time. Cloud! Evidently, these look- If you notice a stray Chocobo, you may want to have a look around. You'll likely find a stop not too far from it.
I got your number. Do that again. Cloud, have you spotted any rat? From what I've observed thus far, the ones in this region have a habit of hoarding trinkets in their burrows. So if you spot a burrow, you may want to dig it up with a chocobo. Who knows what sort of things you might find. Do your thing. like that, okay?
Are my trials not challenging enough? I can't help but wonder where we'll meet next. So many fascinating possibilities. Don't hold back. No holding back. Not enough. There! Ready? With me! You're up! With me! Just like that, okay? So all of this is Junon? Everything above us. Below is under Junon. Little more than an impoverished fishing village. <laughs> Vegas, Shinra's always gotta have someone to stop on. It's their friggin' M.O. One moment. Welcome to Under Junon, our sunless oasis. My name is Rhonda. I'm the mayor and sheriff around these parts. What? Avalanche. 
huh? That depends on who's asking. A woman who could turn you in. And be a hundred grand richer for it. <laughs> well, you know what they say. Can't take it with you. Hmm. Hmm. And Aerith to boot, huh? That's another half a million on top. Uh, half a million? Down here, though, we know when to turn a blind eye. Consider our lips sealed. Uh, sorry, but I call bullshit. Well, I don't think you would, if you knew even half of what my town's been through. You don't like it? Leave. But, over there, there's a quiet little inn, where everyone's welcome. Any guys in black robes pass through? Not that I saw. Did see some black suits, though. Two guys and a girl. Looked pretty tough. Well, well. They made a beeline right for the elevator. Now we're talking. No, don't even think about it. In case it isn't obvious, upstairs is Shinra turf. And the same goes for the elevator as well. Don't ask me what, but the company's got something big planned up there, and security is tight. You start anything? Anything at all? And there will be consequences. Behave yourselves now. There's gotta be black robes around here somewhere. So how are we gonna find them? That would depend on where they are headed. If they mean to continue west, there are only two ways off this continent. By sea or by air. Right. Might want to ask around town then. Locals will know routes not on the map. May have even seen stragglers pass through. Or got boats for rent or something. How about we meet at the inn when we're done? Sounds good. And remember, Low profile. Brittle houses in the sea air. Pink chipping and wood bending. Time. Oh, you made your way out of here, huh? Mind if I get a shot of you? I've got the perfect backdrop. Getting the exposure correct down here can be a bit tricky, what with the lack of sunlight. I truly appreciate the challenge. As always, I'd welcome tips about other promising spots. Brittle houses in the sea air. Paint chipping. Wood bending.
houses in the sea air. Hey there! Thank you for tracking down that spot. Quite the view you captured. Good going. Association was impressed too. Bumped you up a rank. Your technique isn't exactly where it needs to be, but you've got promise, that's for sure. If you can develop your talents more, I guarantee you'll go places. Brittle houses in the sea air. Have you met Priscilla yet? You'll know her when you see her. <laughs> so, what'll it be? Come back soon! She's our town's oil, coal, wind. Republic. Many years ago, this stretch of ocean was home to the Republic of Junon's capital, a floating city built atop a fleet of interconnected ships. Gotta make that money, right? People never know. Hey, you see that trio that took the elevator up top? Not just looking for oh hey there mister are you looking for someone to play queen's blood with we'd be more than happy to go a round or two with you i'm devin the younger brother and i'm darren the older one and together we're the double d duo a team of twins who love queen's blood you'll face my little brother here first if you win then i'll take you on two for the price of one sweet deal right speaking of prices if you lose against either of us you gotta fork over three gil
not bad. But next, you gotta beat me. Don't worry, Devin. I promise I'll avenge you. I can't believe we lost. You're better at this than I thought. Hold up. Does this mean we don't get our three gil? No, he totally still owes us. I'm pretty sure the deal was if we lost, we got three gil. Isn't that right? <laughs> I'm just kidding. You may have beaten us this time, but we'll get that three gil from you yet. So if you're ever in the mood, come back and play. Shinra's holding some wonder what. Take care of yourself.
okay? throw down, are ya? Sorry, but I was just about to leave port. Oh, name's Isabel, by the way. Was looking for a challenge, but failed miserably. Since this place was a total bust, I figured I ought to try my luck elsewhere. Although, maybe you can put up a decent fight. What do you say? One round of QB before I set sail?
you took the wind right out of my sails. And here I was thinking my ship was unsinkable. Happy to be proven wrong, though. Especially by a real pro. Glad we could get that match in before I moved on. With all that pent-up frustration, <laughs> I wouldn't have been able to think or sail straight. Thanks for clearing my head. I'm gonna stick around a bit longer. Just enough to swab the deck once more. Elevators are only way up, but Rhonda won't thank us if we storm up. Doesn't matter who's at the head of it. Some fishing village this is. Ain't even allowed to take a rowboat out. Shinra's saying it's only a temporary prohibition. But people gotta eat. Anyway, short of stealing the boat and causing a scene, both us and our black robe friends are SOL. Look at that. I finally hooked a catch, and a good one, too. Bet you thought you could blow me out of the water just because I'm getting on in years, hmm? Well, think again. I'm this town's ace angler, Zogan, and I've caught much bigger QB fish than you, Sonny. I tell you that much. You young'uns can thrash all you like, but you'll never beat my years of experience.
goodness me. This is you, the one that got away. Serves me right for looking down on you just because you're young. Queen's blood is a lot like fishing, you know. Gotta be patient, wait for the right moment, then reel them in. Time it wrong, and you'll be watching your victory swim away. <sighs> just look what happened to me. Guess I had a bigger catch on my hands than I thought. <sighs> I should have been more careful. Congratulations, Cloud. You have attained the rank of Blood Squire. As such, I have information that may be of interest. A talented player by the name of Cameron is looking for opponents within the Crow's Nest. I believe that you would find him to be a suitable challenge. Perhaps you ought to seek him out. Festivities are over. Never let them build a reactor in our water. Ocean's real quiet today. Many, many years ago, the Republic's capital city would have left. Not like me, says I. They must have cracked down on this. Oh my gosh! Actual customers!
Hello there. Room for one. Help! Somebody, please! Help! <laughs> Anybody, please! That sword. You're some kind of fighter, aren't you? That was Priscilla. And from the sound of it, she needs a tough guy like you to lend a hand. We gotta go! Now! There's a monster attacking the boat! This way! Down here! Quickly! Okay. Please!
Let's check on that girl. Come on. I don't think she's breathing. Hey, we need help over here. Breathing again. God, she's so cold. Maybe someone should go find a doctor? There's no time. God, she's so cold. <sighs> Don't just stand there, help me. You're on chest compressions. Got it. there are from the splinter cell splinter cell they used to be with avalanche but left after a policy dispute <sighs> easy they're guests of mine and this one was trying to save your life he was Ugh, nice going yuffie call the guy a creep why don't you you big moron don't come don't come don't come don't come don't come uh. <laughs> okay, Yuffie. Let's get you inside. You've had a rough day. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Psst. Not to beat that guy, but kids these days, I swear. Now, now. Who's that? Another one of my guests. I seem to get a lot of them when the world's on fire. What a relief this didn't turn out worse. Ocean's real quiet today. Too quiet. Something's brewing. Hey. That old... hey, you guys are that avalanche splinter cell, right? Now, how the hell did you... I just gotta say, I'm a big, huge fan of yours. HQ wishes they could be as cool as you guys. <sighs> well, uh, we are pretty cool, but... Think we could sit down for a chat later? Got a teensy favor to ask. And gotta thank you for before. Uh, I suppose you could come by the inn tomorrow. So wait! You won't be sorry. Promise. Later! I know, I know, she laid it on pretty thick. But hey, she's just a kid. What's the harm in hearing her out? Maybe she wants your autograph. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let's get ourselves some rooms. In the heroes of the hour. I heard about what you did for that girl. Thank you so much. Your stay is on us. We insist. It's the least we can do for you, really. Now then, how many we got? Will four rooms be enough? Uh, could you make it five? Five it is. Oh, everything is comped. So if you need anything at all, just ask. Don't know about you. But I'm dying to put my feet up. It's nice to have the place booked up again for once. Gosh, when was the last time that happened? It's open. Hey, 
So about that Yuffie kid, what do you think she wants with us? Be honest. Like Tifa said, your autograph. <laughs> ah, the burden of fame. <laughs> Always knew this day'd come. Good thing my signature's a work of art. Let me prove it to you. Shinra didn't waste any time getting our names and faces out here, did they? slipping away one by one and the tighter I held on the more I lost I know I felt the same it was like they were sucking them straight out of my head and the worst part is that I don't even know what's missing only that something is like it's on the tip of my tongue but I just can't remember damn whispers speaking of have you seen them lately Who's in there with you? Oh. Hmm. Right. Thought it was someone else. Nope. All clear here, officer. Well, hope the rest of your patrol is just as uneventful. like we've been on the road forever, like Midgar's ancient history. I wonder how Mom and Marlene are holding up. Homesick? Mm -mm. No time for that, not with Sephiroth around. Mm. So, a little random, but do you remember the first time we met? You shoved a flower in my face. It's called a gift, Cloud. I saw it, you know, in a vase at 7th Heaven, and I seriously doubt you're the one who put it there. Hey, I mean, you never know. Some advice? Never re-gift a present from a girl, especially if you're just gonna give it to another one. Noted. Water under the bridge, but next time... Shinra come calling, I doubt I'll smell them till it's too late. Huh. Not good. Thankfully, my ears are unaffected. I'll let you know if I hear anything unusual. My poor nose. I was just about to come find you. Yeah, I... You... Regret what I said in calm. Oh. Come in. I should have never doubted you. It's fine. I never should have doubted you either. Say, do you remember a guy named Emilio? From Nibelheim? The only person from the village I remember is you. Huh? Oh. 
Okay, then. His family owned the general store. Right. Anyway, he left the village right before you did. Thought I'd never see him again. Then one day last year, he shows up at Seventh Heaven. I couldn't believe my eyes. He was all... grown up. Didn't even recognize him at first. Really? Yeah, and what's more, the woman who walked in with him was stunning. Like, she could have been a model, and... <sighs> You're... not interested, are you? Not really. But I I'm happy to listen, so go ahead. It's okay. Forget it. Was this another test? No, it wasn't. I... <sighs> Why deny it? I guess it was, huh? I'm sorry. It's fine. We'll find time to talk. Just the two of us. Figure things out. Just be ready to spill your guts, huh? <laughs> With my iron stomach? <laughs> Night. to get some sleep too. that the gang's all here. It's time you got to know me. My name is Yuffie, Materia Hunter and Elite Ninja Operative for the Interim Wutai Government. I left my beloved homeland behind to bring an end to Shinra's reign of terror and prove that Wutai's not to be trifled with. Wutai? <sighs> brings me to that little favor I mentioned yesterday. Long story short, I want you to join me. HQ, they just didn't understand. But you guys get it. <sighs> Don't ninjas creep around in the dark slitting people's throats. I mean, we've done some shit, but we ain't about to stoop that way. I resent that. <laughs> Although, that is something we do. alone so far from home is expensive. So I've been moving from town to town, hustling, scraping together enough scratch to keep sticking it to the man. Until, that is, I came here. And lucky I did, because I met Rhonda. She offered me the gig of a lifetime, an assassination. 
And guess who the target is? Seriously, guess! <sighs> Just spit it out already. Who else but a certain company's new president, Rufus freaking Shinra! That crazy or what? And that douchebag will be here any minute now. Up there here, anyway. Enjoying his fancy inauguration parade. These people had their country stolen from them, and then their sunlight. Yunnan demands revenge. So when the president steps out... Oh, wow. Tell us more. Mm. Okay. You want to know how Rhonda's planning on paying me? With your bounty suckers. What? Wow, got a hand it to her. The lady works fast. Well, this is fun. See ya. Hey! <laughs> If you manage to get away, you should try to find Priscilla. She'll get you topside. Now, now! You don't want to make me come in there and fetch you, because I would love to do it! Who's that? A pain in the ass. Let's go. Absence certainly makes the heart grow fonder, my friend. <laughs> Still playing hard to get, eh? Well, I've got news for you, young man. As if by fate, the Speed Demon has been entrusted with a singular task. Retrieving one Aerith game. Uh, me? Come alone? <laughs> it only takes two to tango. Besides, you and I like to go big, and a venue this small just won't do. But no need to worry. I found the perfect stage. The city above, where we can dance up a storm. Seek me out, and we'll put our last performance to shame. With a show none shall ever forget. <laughs> you got some weird friends, man. We might want to think about getting out of here. These people don't need more trouble. Yuffie said to talk to Priscilla if we wanted to get topside, right? Let's go find her. Thanks for dealing with that Shinra nut job. Don't you think for even a second we did that for you, the slime ball who sold us out? Take it. Not much, but it's yours. The hell's this supposed to be? <laughs> Your bounty. Part of it, anyway. You thought I'd put you through the ringer like that without making it worth your while? We're on the same side. Always have been. And what if Biker Boy had taken us in? Then I would have had to improvise. But I didn't, because it all worked out. Worked out fine. Like I pray it will for Yuffie upstairs. Since you clearly don't have anything better to do, think I could put you to work? The remainder of your bounty. I need it delivered to someone. I've already got a porter picked out, too. This here is Salmon. Since he'll be the one making the drop, it's your job to get him there safe. Huh. Doesn't seem like too much of a hassle, but who exactly is this money for? 
My son. Haven't seen him in a spell. Not since he left town. And never looked back. This gills me washing my hands of him. He's a grown man. Can't be clinging to his mom's skirts. Or her pocketbook. The crow's nest. Boy got sick of living under this steel sky. And my thumb, I suppose. So he went into the mountains way east of here. Found some more like-minded idiots. Kinda sad, if I'm being honest. If you're gonna run away, at least go somewhere interesting. Don't half-ass it. Much obliged. Once you make it to the crow's nest, find Toby. He'll make sure you get the reward I promised. But if I find a single hair out of place on Sam, you won't live to enjoy it. You keep my boys safe. Don't you worry. Any monster that wants to get you is gonna have to go through me. Hey, Cloud. Remind me. How old were you when you left home? Fourteen. Wait, it was spring, so... Thirteen. Suppose that ain't too unusual for small-town boys like you. What'd your mom have to say? Not much. Didn't try to stop me. Like you said, nothing unusual about it. But... But? Two thousand gil. She offered me that. To make a fresh start. <laughs> Guess moms are the same all over. I turned the money down, though. Didn't need it, since I was planning to enlist straight away. <laughs> but you still can't help that your rights are too grand. Sentimental. <laughs> <laughs> Hear me out. What? Know how some parents stop their kids from leaving the nest, claiming it's too soon or they're not ready? Any excuse to keep them at home. What about it? Loads of parents are like that, but I told myself I'd be different. I'd never keep my little girl from flying. I don't want to clip her wings. I want her to soar. <laughs> I hear you scoffing. You think I can't do it? You think I'll keep her all to myself? Oh, yeah. And that's what scares me. As much as I want to let her fly, I don't know if I'll be able to let go when the time comes. Maybe I'll panic, get in the way, hold her down, all to keep her safe. Oh, Marlene, I wish you could be my baby girl forever. No. Let's do it. 
Let's do this. Sweet baby girl. What now? Your daddy. Your silly daddy. He's gonna. He's gonna fail you. Oh, I can't let you go. I just can't. Barrett, get your shit together. Marlene's barely out of diapers. You've got time. Right. Right. I'm just getting worked up over nothing. Yeah. She won't be leaving me for a while. Then again. Hey.
Sam, what are you doing here? <laughs> Came all this way and you're still full of energy. Uh, do I know you? We're Sam's bodyguards. Your mom hired us to keep him safe. And to make sure her boy got his allowance. Keep it. I ain't taking her money. I can make ends meet on my own. Who are they, Dylan? Friends of yours? Claire, what are you doing out of bed? You know you need to stay off your feet. I know you came all this way, but I can't accept that. Just make sure Sam gets home safe for me. You really are your mother's kid. Got her stubbornness and everything. Have it your way. Why don't you hang on to it? This is a fortune! If you really don't want it, I'll take it off your hands. But as a parent, I'm sure you want to give your kid the best life you can. And in my experience, that don't come cheap. Think it over. That's true. We'll take it. Dilster was looking for you, dude. Toby. Sorry, got a little tied up. Hang on, aren't these guys with Avalanche? Rhonda said I might run into you. Avalanche? Wait, you mean they're the ones who blew up those reactors? The superstars themselves. I just want to say it is such an honor to meet you. Actually, while you're here, think I could ask you for a favor? Seeing as Dylan's, uh, situation seems to be taken care of? Yep, it's all good. Excellent. In that case, why don't we step into my office for a chat? Right this way. Man, you make Carinos are something else. When I saw you on the news, I was blown away. Violence isn't the answer. And here you are, lending me a hand. It's literally a dream come true. So, here's the situation. There's this big lighthouse down by the Cape, and someone calling themselves the Merc of Junon has turned it into their hideout or something. Curie. Oh, are they an acquaintance of yours? Sorta. What are the chances? I don't know about you, but I think fate brought us together. Anyway, that place has got a killer view. We used to go up there all the time and just chill. But it's too dangerous with all the monsters around, and that merc hasn't done a thing about him. So I was hoping you could do me a solid and convince that merc to help us out. They've done many a good deed in Midgar and all throughout the Grasslands. Allegedly, that is. And like, if they're so good at doing good, then why aren't they doing anything now? The lighthouse is up ahead, right on the Cape. Apparently, it used to guide ships back in the Republic days, but that was, like, forever ago. Anyway, it's super out of the way and crawling with monsters. Anyone who thinks customers will come calling is out of their mind. Yo, you're the best! You know, I just knew I could count on you. So? You gonna help, or...? Me? You can sniff out trouble. <laughs> I suppose that does make me the most suitable candidate. Oh, pro tip. If you ever get the chance, you ought to swing by the hill, too. You might even catch a glimpse of the Great Condor if you're lucky. If you're into that kind of stuff.
certainly poured their energy into the promotional aspect. They'll be thrilled to hear it. Let's go. Greetings. Kyrie, Merc of Junon. And you are? Oh man. And here I got all excited thinking I had a customer. Well, thanks for making the trip out here to say hi, fellow Merc. Not your fellow anything. And quit calling yourself a Merc. You're giving the real ones a bad name. Uh, what even is a Merc? Nobody really knows. And besides... Arguably, this whole mess can be laid at your feet, mister. <sighs> I came all the way out to Junon to strike it rich, but nobody knows we're here. Or even that we exist. Zero publicity, which means zero clients. I mean, this is business 101. <sighs> Since you suck so bad at self-promotion, I had to pick up the slack and come up with an ad campaign. But like... What's your brand? Tall, blonde, and not interested. Sounds like a one-way ticket to bankruptcy to me. <laughs> Allergies. What? Shut up! This thing can talk? Indeed. Aww! Aren't you just the most adorable boy? Hey, you know, I've always wanted a pet of my own. Come here, come to Mama! Okay, scratch that. Right. Anyway, as I was saying, I'm putting in all this work for us, yet we haven't managed to bring in a single customer. And if we don't get one really soon, your CEO and PR head is as good as done! But not to worry, I put my creative skills to work and came up with this ditty. will be lining up in no time. Wait, monsters? But what could have drawn them here? I'm sure your aggressive advertising has nothing to do with it. Please, Cloud, you've got to help me. After all, nobody knows how to take down monsters like a merc. So hire yourself. You're a pro, aren't you? Come on, don't be petty. Oh, I'll even give you some of these. Pass. Wait, our lives are in as much danger as hers now. We have to fight. Make you regret this! Ah! Oh. 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 
check out this shit right here! Come on, get rid of those things already, would ya? I thought you were supposed to be good at your job! Hey, no thanks! You don't mind, my face is cold. I'm gonna take that hit, you know. Can you call through the power? Check out this shit right here! Yeah, there! I'm counting All on you! You're out of my turn. No, it's now. Time to burn. It's on now. Don't overdo it. Guess it's my turn. Time uh, for a serious apple. Got a love. Bring it home. Let's go. I've got you covered. Keep it up.
loyal subordinates. <laughs> Nobody could get past all those uglies. I'm glad you learned something. Oh well. Guess I'll just have to close up shop and clear out. Anyway, I'm gonna split, but I'm sure you can take it from here. Catch you later, fellow Merc. Hey. Wanna leave with Mama? Come on, you know you do. Okay, later! I wouldn't wish her on my worst enemy. You and me both. My dudes! I saw the monsters headed your way. I couldn't help but worry. But it looks like I worried for nothing. I should have known Avalanche could hold their own. Out of curiosity, what happened to that Merc? She moved on. Bummer. Well, guess we should get this place cleaned up. Oh, yeah! Rhonda was telling me you do Merc work on the side, too. For real? I can't believe you didn't say anything! Best buds don't keep secrets, you know. But I hope you'll lend me a hand the next time I need help. Newsletter's looking pretty good. Clear skies. There isn't a single job here we can handle. You're just so out of shape. They better. Claire's really lucky. Talk about a love story for the ages. I take it you're new to the nest. young lady. We've got a lovely breeze blowing today. You certainly do. So, what are you all looking at? We're on the lookout for the Great Condor. We try to catch sight of it every time it takes flight. Make sure it's in good health and all that. 
It's not really a danger to people, but its hunger can drive it to hunt larger prey. Let's just hope it never develops a taste for us. Surely you've seen our newsletter, haven't you? It's filled with fun facts about our beloved bird. I'm quite proud of it. Sir, I don't think the condor is going to show today. Maybe we should head back. No, let's wait a little longer, lad. That bird's got me a bit worried. Haven't seen it in a fair while now. I wonder if we should have given it something to eat after all. Perhaps. I put a post up on the notice board asking for help, but, um... Well, if you're still looking for volunteers, we'd be more than happy to help. Well, far be it for me to turn down such an offer. It's a grand old bird. Makes its nest on a small island just a stone's throw from here. Even saved my life back when I was a lad, if you can believe it. The condor was looking out for me that day, so I thought I should start looking out for it. Keep tabs on its well-being and whatnot. It's a proud creature, a hunter at heart. We've tried to feed it before, but it seems to prefer catching its own prey. If something smelled enticing enough, though, it might be moved to come and take a closer look, I suspect. Back during the war, I was running from some Shinra troopers when one of them got me in the back. I fell to the ground. I thought I was done for, until that bird snatched me up and flew me to the next town over. <laughs> I sometimes wonder if it mistook me for its supper. I never managed to regain the use of my legs, unfortunately. But I feel my spirit soar when I watch that condor fly. I may be stuck here, but at least they're still free. Thank you. I appreciate it. One of the condor's favorite hunting spots is in the woods nearby. You'll need a chocobo that can manage the climb to get there. It's pretty tough. There goes the condor's dinner. Maybe we can track its scent. Chocobo could track him.
guess it's in here. Let's go. We do now. Oh, you're back. Hope it wasn't too much trouble. You can put the food right over there. Thank you. This is quite the cut of meat. I've no doubt the bird will be unable to resist the call of such fine dining. I gotta say, it's kind of nice, looking up and seeing a blue sky. Beats a steel one, that's for sure. <laughs> Though at least with a steel sky you know your limits. Out here, it's endless. I kinda get what Aerith was saying now. Yeah, maybe. Hey, look! Hmm? <sighs> what a sight! 
I never dreamed I'd be able to see it up close like this. Ah, uh, up. Wait, we have to get a photograph. Grab the camera. Yes, sir. Come on, gather around, everyone. Quickly, quickly. Say cheese. Oh. <laughs> what? So, snap any good shots? I hope so. It just showed up. I could barely hold my camera and... Really? Couldn't tell from a shot like this. Ah. <laughs> well, I haven't looked this happy since I was a lad. It's precious moments like these that make condor watching so exhilarating. You never know what to expect. Well, Scouts, let's finish writing up today's report and start preparing for our next fateful encounter. Sir! And hopefully next time we'll be able to snap a clear picture of that bird. Sir! Miss? I'd like you to have this as a souvenir. <laughs> nice face, Cloud. Just like I always do. I really am nothing but a colossal failure. Sign me? No, wait. You came out here just to see the famous Queen's Blood rocker. All right, twist my arm, why don't you? I'll give you the show of a lifetime. I'm good. Oof! Savage! So you're not a talent scout or a fan. Why didn't you say something? The name's Neil. And I'm gonna be the world's greatest QB playing guitarist. What do you say? Wanna play against a future celebrity?
God damn, dude! You legit wiped the floor with me! Then again, I can count on one hand the times I've won. I might actually not be cut out for this. <gasps> Hear that? An upbeat melody's coming to me, clear as day. That's it. I could feel my spirits rising. I knew I was a musical genius. That loss was just what I needed to get my groove back. Oh, I can tell this one's gonna be good. One of these days, I'll make it to the big time and give my folks the life they deserve. Until then, there's nothing for it but to keep strumming guitar and playing. That you're new to the nest. People of the crow's nest, listen! Yeah! Tell them! Look at our ocean! <laughs> Finally. Someone who's worth a damn. I'm Cameron, Queen's Blood Champion, and I roam the world in search of proper sport. I've scaled mountains, braved wastelands. As I communed with nature, I received a vision. The true spirit of this game we both play. And now I shall reveal it to you. Are you prepared? Then come.
all wrong? I don't understand. It was just supposed to be a game. No. There it is again. That voice. Could it be? Has returned? No, that's impossible. It's just a silly card game. Oh, God. What have I done? to know the terrible truth about Queen's blood. You okay? Were you granted a transcendent vision, as I too was? You look as though you've just seen a ghost. Saying that, I'm reminded of the story of Lidrell Balmon, the creator of Queen's blood. After he started selling cards, he spoke of hearing a strange voice. He then withdrew from the public eye and became a recluse. No one saw him again until his death. There's no shortage of people who've had their lives turned upside down by the cards. Just goes to show what a deep and captivating game it is. Indeed, this match of ours stands as proof of that truth as well, I believe. Thank you for this experience, my friend. Hello, my name's Michaela, and I'm a proud member of the CAS's Queen's Blood Promotion Committee. Our goal is to spread awareness about the game's diplomatic potential. We believe it's our best shot at getting Shinra to agree to negotiations with us. What do you say? Want to play and help me drum up interest?
That was great! See what I'm talking about? That connection you feel when you're playing someone! You, my friend, are now officially a member of the Queen's Blood Promotion Committee. People laugh, but I really think this game has the power to bring folks together in a way few things can. Cause the key to world peace isn't violence. It's joy. Plain and simple joy. Comrade, I hereby ask you to go forth and play Queen's Blood. Spread the joy of gaming. I'm counting on you. La 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 la. Curious about this old clavier. I'm Dorian, representative of the Piano Outreach Association. It is my duty to support those who liberate music from the page and bring it to life with their performances. I hope you will aid me in my humble mission to spread the joy of the piano to every corner of the world. How may I be of service to you? Mellifluous melodies are all the more pleasing when played on the piano. 
Thank you for sharing such joy with the world. I hope you will enchant us with even more splendid performances in time. Hey, what were you thinking sending Sam back alone like that? He even need us in the first place? Your mother'd give Stamp a run for his money. <laughs> so, how's my son? Seem okay? Yeah. You gonna stand there and pretend this wasn't all about Claire and her bun in the oven? <laughs> Apple didn't fall far from this stubborn ass tree. That's for damn sure. <laughs> Wouldn't know about that. And if you're done making wisecracks, I got work to do. Brittle houses and... Isn't Priscilla just a boy? Yes, sir. All right! Giddy up! Back in the day. Uh -huh. been shut down since hope the crow's nest folks don't try anything Grown-up zone. Get lost. You're a kid. Well, duh. It's just how this place is. I don't know if it's because of the reactor out there or what, but hanging out here turns you into a frog. Hey, Finn. Who are they? Not Shinra, I hope. Oh no, we're definitely not. Oh wait, you must be the ones Priscilla was talking about. She told me how you saved her. Right, that's us. We're friends. Are you a friend of hers, too? We're friends, but it's not like I like her or anything. It's just, there aren't a lot of other kids in the village, so I basically had to be your friend. <laughs> of course. So what are you kids doing all the way down here? Uh, playing Jump Frog, obviously. Actually, we could use a couple more players. Since you're here, do you want to give it a try? <laughs> Come on, Cloud. Ribbit? Tifa! I tried to warn you! Like I said, hanging out here turns you into a frog! But don't worry, all you gotta do is start thinking like a frog, and you'll be fine! Ribbit, ribbit. Ribbit.
Thanks for that. So, ready to play? Come on, you'll love it, I promise. Ribbit? Ribbit. Okay, here are the rules. Think you two can handle it? What do you think? It's pretty fun, right? Eh, I've played worse. Anyway, thanks again for your help. You can come back again if you want. You look like you were having fun. <laughs> <laughs> I could get used to it. Yeah, I wouldn't go that far. Ribbit, ribbit. <clears throat> hey! Ribbit. Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. <laughs> We should have never let them build a reactor. Oh! Hey, you guys! We talked to Yuffie. She said that you could show us a way to get up top. Sure, I'd be happy to. Although, Yuffie's the one who found it. And according to her, that tanker's the quickest and easiest way into the city. See that? That booth up there is the control room. So we can repurpose this ship as an elevator. Someone lowers and sends it back up, along with the others. Problem is, how are we supposed to get to the controls? High voltage? Yep. It should just say, no climbing. So we're stuck? Not with Mr. Dolphin. You wouldn't believe what he can do. Like... Like when we met. See, I was out taking a swim all on my lonesome. At least I thought I was alone. But then, squeak, squeak, I hear this funny noise. That's great and all, but we're in a hurry. Hey! We're sorry, really. But we'll make sure to come back as soon as we're done. You can finish your story then. How does that sound? Okay, promise. <laughs> hmm? 
Never done it before? My arm, your arm, bam. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> awesome. All right then, now what? Now we ask Mr. Dolphin to get you up. With his help, it'll be a cinch. Okay, which one of you wants to go flying? Got you ridden all over it, Merc. <sighs> Guess it's me. Great. Just let me know when you're ready to go. Okay, your ride's right here. The ship's not far, so you'll be there in no time. If we don't sink on the way... Huge help, Priscilla. No prob. Well, guys and girls, and, uh, dog, I'll see you later. <laughs> Have fun! <laughs> hey! We're good to go down here!
you at the top. <laughs> 